Okay, so moving along here, we have the um, statements next to get the user input. So the user is going to be entering the uh, departure airport code, the destination code, and also the distance in miles. So I'll just uh, copy and paste these from uh, an existing program that I have to save some time. So these are, you know, you have your welcome message and then um, prompting the user, getting the input using C in. So it just, just kind of like C out, C in pairs for those three data items. Don't have to worry about spaces because airport codes don't have spaces. So C, just plain C in is just fine here. So now that we have the user's input, we're ready to start doing some calculations. So um, we said we were going to convert the miles to kilometers so we could display both of those values for the user. And that's just an easy math statement here. We would um, do something like this. So I already have the variables up at the top, the distance in miles and the distance in kilometers. So um, we have the distance in kilometers will be equal to the distance in miles times 1.6. And that's just something I looked up online. So that, that's like a hard-coded constant there. So yeah, so now we have the distance in kilometers. And then the next thing would be to compute the uh, total of the flight time. And again, I do have a flight time variable here. So you know what, I'm going to type this one by hand. Flight time is going to be equal to the um, distance in miles divided by uh, 500 or um, the miles per hour, which I've hard-coded um, up at the top here. Okay, so we have the distance in miles divided by 500 miles. We'll get you the um, 500 miles per hour. We'll get you the number of hours that the person is going to be sitting on a plane. Now, heads up here, we need to be careful because we, we've talked about integer division in this class, and we've got an integer divided by an integer, and you know what's going to happen. The result is going to be an integer, period, even if we don't want one. So you saw in the sample uh, run that I did in the last video, okay, so I told you I wanted the flight time displayed to two decimal places. So we need to have a workaround here because the, the as, it, as it's coded right now, those decimals are going to be truncated because of integer division. So what, what I have to do is apply a static cast. Uh, you know, I've used the analogy of the magic wand turning the pumpkin into a coach, and then the pumpkin goes, the coach goes back to the pumpkin at the end of the night, right? So that's what's happening here. So I'm going to, uh, to do a static cast on either one of these. It could be this one, it could be this one, doesn't matter. Take your pick. We're going to squeeze in here, put the static cast on that variable, casting that integer that lowly integer to a float or promoting it to a float just like you're promoting the pumpkin to a coach just for a nanosecond when this line is executing and then once it's over distance of miles goes back to being a lowly integer just like the coach going back to a pumpkin at midnight so yeah but i mean it, it does what it has to do which is preserve those decimal places and that'll go into the flight time variable, which, by the way, is a float, and it can accommodate those decimals. So there you have it. Um, that's it for the calculation part of this. And you know what? Maybe um, I think I will just paste in the output. Now we're home free, really. We have just some C out statements that I'm constructing, OK? based on the sample output given, which you'll be given on your exam as well, the real exam. So yeah, we're just um, putting this all together. All right, so you have your output there. And I think um, I'll do one more separate video to do the, um, the if-else decision statement.